Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mihit Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problem sums where they will ask us to find the net present value under the topic International Project Appraisal under the subject International Finance. Again, a very important topic for all the SEM6 students of TYBMS. In this video, we are going to solve three problem sums that will cover up most of the topic. Okay. So we will start with the very first type of sum. Okay, now in the question is given to us that an investment of AUD that is Australian dollar uh, 40,000 made on 1st April 2015 provide inflows as follows. They have given you four years. Alternative one that is investment in China and then they have given you the cash inflow of China. Alternative 2 if the same investment is made in France, so they are giving you the cash inflow of France and discounting factor Which alternative would you prefer? That is a question. Okay, so whenever they give you cash inflow This entire topic is mostly based on you need to find the net present value Okay, so what we'll do here in order to find net present value We need cash inflow. We need PV factor or discounting factor both of the terms have been given to us we will multiply them, we will get the present value and once we get the present value, we can easily find the net present value, okay? Chalo. So first, uh, we are going to solve for investment in China. The columns will be years, cash inflow, PV factor and present value, okay? Under cash inflow of China, okay, it's given as 20,000, 10,000, 10,000 and another 10,000. Under PV factor, we'll note down the discounting factors which they have given us 0 0.9091, 0 0.8264, 0 0.7513 and 0 0.6830. Now, in order to find the present value, we need to multiply cash inflow with your PV factor. So, you multiply them. Okay, we'll get the answer as 18,182, 8,264, 7,513 and 6,830. Once you get all the four values of the uh, you know four present value, we will need the total of present value column. So the total will come up to 40,789. A very simple sum, okay? You just have to multiply the cash inflow with the, with the PV factor and you will get the PV. Once you get the total PV, okay, now directly we apply into the main formula. Net present value is equal to PV of inflow minus PV of outflow. Inflow of the PV is what we have found 40,789. PV or outflow is the amount that you are going to invest, that's 40,000. So it will be 40789 minus 40,000, which comes to 789. Okay, so this is the net present value if the investment is made in China. Now, similarly, let us see what if the investment is made in France. So the columns will remain the same. Okay, under cash inflow, we'll write 10,000, 20,000, 10,000, and another 10,000. Under discounting factor, the same discounting factor will note it down here. Okay, so 0 0.9091, 0 0.8264, 0 0.7513, and 0 0.6830. Now, in order to find the PV, we multiply them, and once we multiply, these are the values that we should get: 9,091. 16,528, 7513 and 6830. You total it up and our total will come to 39,962. Once we get the total, we can apply into the final uh, formula that is net present value is the PV of inflow minus PV of outflow. Inflow is 39,962 and outflow was 40,000 which is given at the start. When you subtract, now I am going to get here a negative value. Okay, so It comes to negative 38. Okay, so now the first one was positive and PV, the second one is negative. Always remember, we will always choose the one which is giving you a higher net present value. Okay, now this is a negative, so it, it doesn't make a, any sense investing in this. So our final answer, we can write it as alternative one will be chosen. That is investment in China is preferable as the NPV is positive. Okay, so that's our final answer. Uh, that we should invest in China because giving you a NPV of a positive value as compared to investment in France. Okay, the sum is very simple. You just have to multiply with the PV factor, get the PV and then apply into NPV ka formula. This was sum number one. Now, let us see the next question. 
मिस्टर विश्वनाथन इज प्लानिंग टू बाय अ मशीन विच वुड जेनरेट कैश फ्लो इन यूएसडी एज फॉलोज in the zero year that is negative 25000 that's nothing but the investment okay always remember negative is nothing but the investment so there's going to be a 25000 ka investment and after that it will generate 6000 8000 15 and 8000 in subsequent four years the discounting rate or at the rate of 10% is given to us okay we need to you know advise him whether it is a good investment or not okay so again our format will be similar We we'll have years one two three four because four years because data is given cash inflow six thousand eight thousand fifteen thousand and eight thousand under PV factor we will write zero point nine oh nine zero point eight two six zero point seven five one and zero point six eight three once we note it down we multiply cash inflow with PV factor so the value that we should get is five thousand four hundred and fifty four six six zero eight one one two six five and five four six four. Once we get the PV, we get the total of it. Total comes to twenty-eight thousand seven hundred and ninety-one. Once we get the total, now I can finally apply to the NPV formula. That is PV of inflow minus PV of outflow. Inflow ka total is twenty-eight thousand seven ninety-one. Outflow is twenty-five thousand. So we subtract. I get a positive value of USD three seven nine one. So three thousand seven hundred ninety-one USD. the profit is going to be there if we apply into if uh, mr vishwanathan goes with this project okay so we can finally give him a conclusion that it is worth investing in the project since the npv is positive okay again a very simple sum just similar to the very first one but in this there was only one project so very simple to do okay chal now we jump to the third one little variation a, a bit variation in the third type of sum XYZ and company is considering investing in a project requiring a capital outlay of two lakhs rupees. So now that's an investment two lakh. Forecast for annual income after tax is given. Now this is income after tax. Okay, whenever they are giving you cash inflow after tax, remember the format. If it is after tax, we need to add the depreciation, and then we'll get the cash inflow that we require. Okay. They are giving you profit after tax, one lakh, one lakh, eighty, eighty, forty. Depreciation is going to be at twenty percent on straight line basis. Evaluate the project on the basis of NPV by taking fourteen percent discounting factor and fourteen percent card discounting factors ka values are also given to us. Okay, so if such kind of sum is given, the very first step is to make the table. Okay, the table will be years, profit after tax, depreciation. Okay, we need remember one thing. Remember one thing. I will show it here. Profit after tax. Okay, profit after tax at depreciation will give you cash inflow, and then when you multiply with the PV factor, you get a normal PV. Okay, so profit after tax given in the question is one lakh, one lakh eighty, eighty and forty. Now we need to find the depreciation. Now the investment was two lakhs. Depreciation, they said, is twenty percent. So depreciation will be twenty percent of two lakhs, which comes to forty thousand per annum. Okay, forty thousand per annum. So now, if you got forty thousand debt per annum and is on straight line basis, meaning it will be same for all the five years. So depreciation will be forty thousand each. Profit after tax plus debt will give you cash inflow. So we'll start adding it up. One lakh plus forty is one forty. One lakh plus forty is one forty. Eighty forty is one twenty. Eighty forty is one twenty. And forty forty is eighty thousand. Once we get a cash inflow, now it goes with the normal sum. We need to note down all the PV factors. So it's given as zero point eight seven seven two, zero point seven six nine five, zero point six nine five zero, zero point five nine two one, and zero point five one nine four. Once we get that, we just multiply cash inflow with PV factor. We will get our total PVs. Which comes to one lakh twenty two thousand eight hundred and eight, one lakh seven thousand seven thirty, eighty one thousand seventy one fifty two, and forty one thousand five hundred and fifty two. We got all the PVs. We total it up. Once you total it up, the total will come to four lakh twenty four thousand one hundred and forty two. Four lakh twenty four thousand one hundred and forty two. That's our total PV. Once we have got that, now final step we apply into the NPV formula. Which is inflow minus outflow. Inflow is four lakh twenty four one forty two. Outflow is two lakhs. We put it into the formula. We subtract and we will get a final answer as two lakh twenty four thousand 
टू लैख ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी टू तो विच आर अड अमाउंट ऑफ एनपीवी दैट कैन बी जनरेटेड सो वी कैन फाइनली मैं फाइनल आंसर आज Okay, we can finally sorry, we can finally say the final answer as uh, the question is should in uh, you know XYZ company invest in this project? So yes, we can give a final conclusion as that XYZ should invest in this project as the NPV is positive and it's a huge amount. Okay, so these were the three uh, you know types of sums or you can say three uh, different types of sums that we did. Based on NPV under the chapter investment appraisal. Okay, very simple. Okay, you just have to multiply your cash inflow with PV factor, get the PV, and then according to that find the NPV. Okay, I hope everyone have understood this particular topic. With that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.